Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, this is actually a series of videos uh, in the uh, human genetics uh, and in this uh, series of videos uh, I'll be actually covering uh, a whole course of the human genetics that we over here in our university uh, so the uh, first topic that we are going to uh, discuss in this video is the uh, pattern of transmission of the single gene trait uh, when you talk about the uh, genetics uh, when you use this term transmission uh, or the uh, heredity that actually means that the uh, how the characters they are transferred from the parent to the offspring and when you talk about the single gene trait that means you are talking about those traits that are controlled by single genes or you can simply say that the phenotype that is shown by that particular uh, generation is controlled by a single gene. So when you talk about the uh, inheritance pattern of the uh, single uh, genes diseases, uh, they are often uh, referred to as the uh, Mendelian one. Now the reason they are known as the uh, Mendelian one because uh, Mendel for the first time observed these characters of the single gene pattern uh, in the garden pea. Uh, he performed a lot of experiments to establish those particular traits that are controlled by single genes uh, and uh, that include the color of the pea, the height of the pea plant and many more characters. I have deleted uh, videos on the uh, uh, Mendel's and I'll share the link in the description. Uh, when you talk about the human beings and if you want to uh, establish uh, the pattern of transmission of the single gene uh, for that particular thing, uh, you have to make it sure that the uh, family which is affected by that particular single gene trait uh, you need an accurate family history uh, to establish the pattern of transmission. That means you have to uh, make the pedigrees and all that sort of stuff that we'll be uh, discussing in the coming videos. Uh, but you have to make it sure that you have an accurate family history until you declare uh, that particular uh, transmission pattern as to be controlled by the uh, single genes. Now, when you talk about the uh, genes, uh, the uh, many genes, uh, they have versions. Uh, you can call them as the versions. Uh, these versions, they are known as the alleles. And when you talk about these alleles, uh, how they are actually derived, how the version of the genes, they are derived. So the uh, two important phenomena that are responsible for making the versions of a gene, uh, one is known as the mutations and the other one that is known as the uh, polymorphism. So because of the mutations or the polymorphism, you can actually have the uh, versions or technically you can say you can have the alleles of the genes. Now, these alleles, uh, when you talk about the uh, diseases, specifically when you talk about the diseases, you can actually classify them into the normal allele and a diseased allele. The normal allele simply means the absence of the disease and the disease allele that actually means that that particular uh, offspring or that particular generation can have a disease. I'm saying you can have a disease because the uh, disease allele, there are different kind of the patterns that we'll be uh, discussing in a while. Now, when you talk about the uh, disease alleles, these diseased one, sometimes they are also known as the uh, mutated alleles so the mutated or the uh, diseased alleles sometimes they are uh, they, they are used interchangeably now the expression of these mutated alleles uh, with respect to the normal allele that can be characterized as the uh, dominant one a co-dominant one and a recessive one so you can actually have uh, three kind of the uh, expression patterns of these uh, diseased alleles uh, one is known as the dominant one the other one that is known is the co-dominant one and the third one uh, that is known is the uh, recessive one. Now what is the difference between these three? Uh, that is not the scope of this particular video because I have detailed videos on these and I will be sharing the link in the description. But simply you can see that if a diseased allele is dominant, it can express itself in the homozygous as well as in the heterozygous condition. 
if the uh, diseased allele that is in a co-dominant pattern uh, that means it can express itself uh, in the uh, presence of the uh, normal allele or you can say uh, that particular individual may be showing some mild kind of the symptoms of that particular disease. When you talk about the recessive one, so the disease allele is called recessive when it express itself only in the homozygous condition. It cannot express itself in the uh, heterozygous condition. You can expect these uh, three kinds of the uh, expression patterns of the mutated alleles uh, with respect to the uh, normal one. Now, uh, when you talk about the uh, mode of the inheritance of the single gene diseases, uh, you can actually classify them into five basic modes. The first one that is known is the autosomal dominant. The second one is known as the autosomal recessive. The third one is known as the X-linked dominant. The fourth one is known as the uh, X-linked uh, recessive one. And the fifth one that is known as the uh, mitochondria. So let me uh, tell you briefly what these terms mean. When the uh, mode of the inheritance that is the autosomal dominant so there are two things one is known as the autosomal and the autosomal mean that the gene for that particular disease is present on the uh, autosomal chromosome and not on the sex chromosome so you are talking about from chromosome number one to chromosome number 22 you are not talk about, talking about the x or the y chromosome and when this autosomal is dominant that means that single copy of that mutated allele that is enough to cause a disease in that particular individual. So this is the autosomal dominant. Mean the gene for the disease is present on the uh, autosomal chromosome and it can express itself in a dominant pattern. Similarly, uh, it can be autosomal recessive. It means again, this is autosomal present on the chromosome number one to 22 anywhere, but at this particular time it is recessive in nature this means that the uh, pattern of inheritance or you can say that the pattern of expression will only be in the homozygous condition so you need two copies of the recessive allele for the expression of that particular uh, disease the third one is known as the x-link dominant if you can see over here this is x-link dominant so the pattern is the same it can express itself in the homozygous as well as in the heterozygous condition but this particular time the gene causing that particular disease is present on the X chromosome. Similarly when you talk about the uh, X linked recessive one that means that the gene is present on the X chromosome and it can only express itself in the uh, homozygous condition means you need two copies of uh, that particular uh, allele or that particular gene for the presentation of that particular disease. The fifth one that is known as the mitochondrial when the gene causing that particular disease is present on the mitochondria. Now, uh, the two excellent resources for the uh, information about the single gene diseases, uh, one is known as the uh, online Mendelian inheritance is man. Uh, for short that is known as the OMIM. So this is the online uh, Mendelian inheritance in man and the second one that is known as the gene tests or sometimes it's also known as the uh, gene clinics. So we will continue the uh, discussion in the next video.